Hey there! I have just finished putting my studio back together. This is just to focus on, so I'm going to take that out of there. I want to play! It's been a few days since I was allowed to, and I um, hope nobody's getting bored by swipes, but that's what I'm going to do, and I've got some colors I need to use up that are laying around here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a double swipe. I'm going to try and go from the middle out, and I'm going to try and utilize my little tiny 12 by 16 canvas to do that. I don't know how it's going to work, but that's kind of normal, so um, let's just go for it. And I decided after the last beautiful canvas, but the paint was way too thick, that I would attempt, whoops, tried to lower my camera, keep my head out of the way too. <laughs> Sorry for the bump. Anyway, so, lost my train of thought. That's okay, just keep moving. I'm thinking it might be quick, but I set a timer this time, just in case. Clog tips are the bane of my existence. I always keep something sharp handy. Trying to keep from having gaps. I'm gonna keep my color scheme fairly simple this time, she said, not knowing whether she was lying or not. And I'm gonna take that and that that and my ends. Then I'm going to take my normal wet rag that I advise everybody keep if they're using a spatula and wipe my tools. And here is, as promised, some paint that needs to be used up. And I think that'll look great in there if I have enough to go around. Give it a bit of a stir. There might even be silicone in there. I can't promise there isn't. I do want that to go around, so I'm going to be kind of judicious. Looks like we might make it. Always a good thing. Use my spatula. Trying to avoid lumps, but you know, if you've been doing this for a little while, you learn to pick the lumps out. <laughs> it's just the way it goes unless you want to strain all your flow troll. Of course, if you're using pouring medium, then you get more money than I do, so <laughs> no worries. Probably no lumps either. Okay, that's cool. Throw my thing in my bucket. All right, I have some other paint I want to use up. The question is, which comes first? I mix that with quite a bit of flow troll, so I think I'm just gonna add that in along the way. I didn't really use it all up, but that's okay. I always like this turquoise color shift paint. Hopefully some of it shows up. I don't wanna get too carried away without using my spatula, because I'm afraid if the paint gets thick again, we're going to lose the colors we want. And I really think if I use the spatula, I'm going to get the colors. I'm going to be able to keep them. But hard telling not knowing, that's why you got to just keep trying new things, which is something I'm always going to say. Try new things. And white is a good catalyst. Right in the middle. Let's see what happens there, especially since I'm putting black in there. 
That's kind of pretty. I'm loving those colors. Wow. Of course, I'm easy to please. I make all the colors up in the world and then I use them. Swipes are great because you can be as messy as you want along the way. It doesn't have to be a pretty design to start with. You just have to be. ready to go when the time is right. I really want a little more gold in there, but I don't know where I really want it, so I'm just going to put it everywhere. Okay. I also want a little contrast. Hopefully we're pretty similar on both sides. thinking I have to be a little quick, a quicker. And I set a timer. Oh, we have plenty of time left. That's awesome. This is black metallic. I don't want that. I want regular black. It doesn't look like I cut the tip off, so I'm going to do that. Goodbye, big fat tip. Put a little extra where the white comes together. so I have enough to dip into. And I'm not too worried about spreading that out because I think the swipe cloth will do that. Today I cut two, so I would have a controlled effort. One for one side and one for the other. All right, everybody cross your fingers. Here goes nothing. I'm also doing this on a horizontal pattern. So, is my wet t-shirt, the hem of a t-shirt I should say. I'm going to fold that over a little bit. I found with this particular one that as soon as I cut it and got it wet, it stretched out to be about twice the width. So that was disconcerting and I had to recut it again. I'm wrestling with t-shirts right now. Okay. I'm still wrestling with t-shirts right now. Come on, behave. Okay, into the paint. Still wrestling. About halfway. Dip it in the black. Ready and go. I'm going to let it fall down over the edge. A little bit of a tuck. I'm going to leave that right there for right now. Take my pan out of the way. Utilize my turntable. Flip it over. Dip my rag in. Let it settle, soak some paint up. How's my head? <laughs> Pull it over. Let it fall down over the edge. I'm gonna go back to my first side. I'm gonna take my painty rag. And I'm gonna use it on the end piece just to cover it. And then I'm gonna take it away. I'm gonna put it on some freezer paper in case it wants to leave me a present. I like skins, what can I say? One down. This is looking kind of cool. Let's see what happens. That's my end, okay. Sorry, don't mean to make you dizzy. Okay, that did not cover completely. So I'm gonna go back in there and hit it again. Slap that sucker right upside the end. Got some nice colors on there. Looks like I got quite the puddle of paint in the middle. I tried to make registration marks so I wouldn't get you guys out of frame too often. Gosh, I guess I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. So let's put the torch on it. There it is, I didn't lose it, cool. Pretty. I think maybe less paint in the middle. Less black paint next time. Although I am tempted. 
to squeegee some of that off. I think I'll just leave that for another time. Use all my extra paint. I'm gonna probably take a straw to this. And draw right through the middle. Actually, I want that other tool with a point. Oh, that was good. Hey, look at that. Accidents are good. Drop it right in there. Just playing in the paint, seeing what we release, getting my head out of the way again. Wiping off the tool. No, I'm gonna leave that tool in case I need it for something. A little bit of wiggle in between, see what happens. Just keep playing with it till I like what I see. Tap, 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 heals a wound really well. sure about this midsection but I have paint in bottles and I can squeeze it more I want so hey that looks kind of like a heart probably won't by the time I'm done all right I'm thinking it would be nice to find out what the straw will do I'm wishing I did first one side and tipped it over and then the other. But that's a whole different gig. Tempted to swipe down the middle. Tempted to see what will happen if I just go skewer crazy. Because I do love my skewer. Pardon my head. Gosh, it's been a few days and I didn't learn any lessons from the last ones that I got my head in. So excuse me. I want to tip that and it's just not the right shape to do that. But I did get more of the effect I was expecting. Just can't keep it out of there. Ooh, that's nice. Let's have a little sideways action, see what happens. I didn't think that through. I can't tip. I want to go up and down. Maybe I'll just spiral the center out. Let's see what happens. After all, I do say agitating the paint. Over these cells. See if I can prove my point. I just want something other than straight lines in the middle. Just back and forth and round and round, getting into those straight lines. I'll probably want them back once they're gone. <laughs> but that's the nature of experiments. They either work or they don't. And probably going to learn something even when they don't. And I don't hate it. I don't love it. What are we going to do with that now? Actually, that's getting kind of cool. It's different. It's not what I was expecting, but you know, maybe, hmm, maybe a few things here and there. Just to spruce it up a little. I love that color. I have no problem spreading that color everywhere I can. And you know the gold is coming out, I'm warning you now. 
<laughs> if in doubt, add gold. What can I say? All right, where's my second favorite? That could be any one of a hundred. Just gonna put a little bit. Just barely touching that. I'm kind of not hating it. I'm liking it more. And more. Like I said. Really? I could have sworn I cleared this before we started this. And I am down to eight minutes. Okay, well. I hate to suck up so much you guys' time, but you can always fast forward to the end if you don't like to listen to me talk. Just barely touching that tip. This is different, huh? Different is good. Something for everyone. I become fond of them later on sometimes now, I find. Even if I wasn't overly thrilled with them at the time. They all seem to have something to contribute. Now. That's interesting. I guess I'm in a heart phase. Just a quick drag right through. I guess we know that there's one way up. Let's just keep that right going. All ready for Valentine's Day next year. So let's go for this one. Well, this is like a good greeting card, right? Gosh, I hope my head's not in there every minute of this. But that's just the way it goes, I guess. Okay. That's different. And I've decided to embrace different again. I like it. That's cool. Okay. Wow. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I kind of like the idea of taking some of that black on the skewer. Putting some of... Boy, both sides didn't come out the same at all. That is kind of cool. Go figure. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. I'm just using my minutes now. And there's less than five left, so maybe I'll spare you. optimistically at that moment. I like the idea that those hearts are a garden. That's kind of making me happy thinking about that. So we'll just keep pretending all this down here on this side is foliage. And that there's a lake on the other side reflecting it all. Yeah, that's right. Whoa! We don't need any stings right now. Thank you, bug. Hornet, wasp. Okay, I'm gonna turn this your way. I'm gonna give it a last torch. Pretty colors. Love, love, love those colors. Something a little different. Make sure there are no bubbles. Try not to light the painting on fire. Notice that there are places where the canvas is showing through. I try not to get too much weird paint on the spot and say goodbye, people. Till and on.